The Niger-Congo languages constitute one of the world's major language families in Africa. S largest in terms of geographical area, number of speakers and number of distinct languages. It is generally considered to be the world's largest language family in terms of distinct languages, ahead of Austronesian, although this is complicated by the ambiguity about what constitutes a distinct language. The number of named Niger-Congo languages listed by Ethnologue is 1,540. It is the third largest language family in the world by number of native speakers, comprising around 700 million people as of 2015. Within Niger-Congo, the Bantu languages alone account for 350 million people 2015, or half the total Niger-Congo speaking population. One of the characteristics common to most Niger-Congo languages, the Atlantic Congo languages, is the use of a noun class system. The most widely spoken Niger-Congo languages by number of native speakers are Yoruba, Igbo, Fula and Shona. The most widely spoken by number of speakers is Swahili, while the ultimate genetic unity of Niger-Congo is widely accepted, aside from Dogon, Mande and a few other languages, the internal cladistic structure of Niger-Congo is not well established. Its primary branches are Dogon, Mande, Ijo, Katla, Rashad and Atlantic Congo. Origin The language family most likely originated in or near the area where these languages were spoken prior to Bantu expansion i.e. West Africa or Central Africa. Its expansion may have been associated with the expansion of Sahel agriculture in the African Neolithic period, following the desiccation of the Sahara in c. 3500 BCE According to Roger Blench 2004, all specialists in Niger-Congo languages believe the languages to have a common origin, rather than merely constituting a typological classification, for reasons including their shared noun class system, shared verbal extensions and shared basic lexicon. Similar classifications to Niger-Congo have been made ever since Diedrich Westermann in 1922. Joseph Greenberg continued that tradition, making it the starting point for modern linguistic classification in Africa, with some of his most notable publications going to press starting in the 1960s. However, there has been active debate for many decades over the appropriate subclassifications of the languages in this language family, which is a key tool used in localizing a language's place of origin. No definitive. Proto-Niger-Congo. Lexicon or grammar has been developed for the language family as a whole. An important unresolved issue in determining the time and place where the Niger-Congo languages originated and their range prior to recorded history is this language family's relationship to the Kordufanian languages, now spoken in the Nuba Mountains of Sudan, which is not contiguous with the remainder of the Niger-Congo language-speaking region and is at the northeasternmost extent of the current Niger-Congo linguistic region. The current prevailing linguistic view is that Kordufanian languages are part of the Niger-Congo language family and that these may be the first of the many languages still spoken in that region to have been spoken in the region. The evidence is insufficient to determine if this outlier group of Niger-Congo language speakers represent a prehistoric range of a Niger-Congo linguistic region that has since contracted as other languages have intruded, or if instead, this represents a group of Niger-Congo language speakers who migrated to the area at some point in prehistory where they were an isolated linguistic community from the beginning. There is more agreement regarding the place of origin of Banu Congo, the largest subfamily of the group. Within Banu Congo, the place of origin of the Bantu languages as well as time at which it started to expand is known with great specificity. Blench, 2004, relying particularly on prior work by K. Williamson and P. De Wolf, argued that Banu Congo probably originated at the confluence of the Banu and Niger rivers in central Nigeria. These estimates of the place of origin of the Banu Congo language family do not fix a date for the start of that expansion, other than that it must have been sufficiently prior to the Bantu expansion to allow for the diversification of the languages within this language family that includes Bantu. The classification of the relatively divergent family of the Ubangian languages, centered in the Central African Republic, as part of the Niger Congo language family is disputed. Ubangian was grouped with Niger-Congo by Greenberg 1963, and later authorities concurred, but it was questioned by Dimendal 2008. The Bantu expansion, beginning around 1000 BC, swept across much of Central and Southern Africa, leading to the extinction of most of the indigenous Pygmy and Bushmen Khoisan populations there. 
Major branches The following is an overview of the language groups usually included in Niger-Congo. The genetic relationship of some branches is not universally accepted, and the cladistic connection between those who are accepted as related may also be unclear. The core phylum of the Niger-Congo group are the Atlantic-Congo languages. The non-Atlantic Congo languages within Niger Congo are grouped as Dogon, Monde, Ijo, sometimes with Defaka as Ijoid, Katla, and Rashad. Atlantic Congo Atlantic Congo combines the Atlantic languages, which do not form one branch, and Volta Congo. It comprises more than 80% of the Niger Congo speaking population, or close to 600 million people. 2015. The proposed Savannas group combines Adamawa, Ubongian and Gur. Outside of the Savannas group, Volta Congo comprises Kru, Kwa, or West Kwa, Volta Niger, also East Kwa, or West Banu Congo, and Banu Congo, or East Banu Congo. Volta Niger includes the two largest languages of Nigeria, Yoruba and Igbo. The new Congo includes the Southern Bantoid group, which is dominated by the Bantu languages, which account for 350 million people 2015, or half the total Niger-Congo speaking population. The strict genetic unity of any of these subgroups may themselves be under dispute. For example, Roger Blench 2012 argued that Adamawa, Ubongian, Kwa, Bantoid, and Bantu are not coherent groups. Glottolog 2013 does not accept that the Kordufenian branches, Lafofa, Taladi, and Hyban, or the difficult to classify Laal language, have been demonstrated to be Atlantic Congo languages. It otherwise accepts the family but not its inclusion within a broader Niger Congo. The Atlantic Congo group is characterized the noun class systems of its languages. Atlantic Congo largely corresponds to Mukarovsky's Western Negritic phylum. Atlantic The polyphyletic Atlantic group accounts for about 35 million speakers as of 2016, mostly accounted for by Fula and Wolof speakers. Atlantic is not considered to constitute a valid group. Senegambian languages, includes Wolof, spoken in Senegal, and Fula, spoken across the Sahel. Back languages, sometimes grouped with Senegambian Mel languages Limba language Gola language of Volta Conga North Volta Kru, languages of the Kru people in West Africa, includes Beite, Nyabwa, and Dita, Adamawa Ubangji. Adamawa, close to 100 languages and dialects scattered across the Adamawa Plateau, spoken by an estimated total of 1.6 million as of 1996, the largest is Mumuya, accounting for about a quarter of Adamawa speakers. Ubongian, a group of minor languages spoken in the Central African Republic, grouped with Adamawa as Adamawa Ubongi. Gur, about 70 languages spoken in the Sahel and Savannah regions of West Africa, accounting for some 20 million speakers. 2010. The largest language of this group is Masi, more, more, with about 8 million speakers as of 2010. Gur and Adamawa Ubongi have also been grouped as Savannah's languages. Senufo, languages of the Senufo people, about 3 million speakers as of 2010, spoken in Ivory Coast and Mali, with a geographical outlier in Ghana, includes Sanari and Supir. Senufo has been placed traditionally within Gur but is now usually considered an early offshoot from Atlantic Congo, South Volta. Kwa, a divergent group of languages of uncertain genetic unity, spoken along the Ivory Coast, across southern Ghana and in central Togo, with a total of some 40 million speakers, 2010s. The largest language in this group is Akan, spoken in Ghana, with about 22 million speakers as of 2014, followed by Twi, 9 million in 2015, Volta Niger, also known as West Banu Congo, or East Kwa. A large group of West African languages, accounting for roughly 110 to 120 million speakers, late 2010s. 
GBE, spoken in Ghana, Togo, Benin and Nigeria, of which U, 7 million speakers in 2017, is the largest and best known. YEAI, a large group of languages centered on Nigeria, accounting for about 100 million speakers, late 2010s. Yoruboid, 50 million speakers, 2010s, including Yoruba, c. 40 million 2017. Edoid, including Edo, 5 million 2010s. Akoko Igboid, including Igbo, 24 million 2011. Noi Nupoid, c. 3 million, c. 1990 estimates. Oko, a minor dialect continuum spoken in Kogi state. Idomoid, group of languages of central Nigeria, including Idoma with 1 to 2 million speakers, 2010s. Ayera Han, moribund or extinct, Banu Congo, East Banu Congo. Bantoid Cross. Cross River. Bantoid. Decoid. Fam. Tikar. Mamboloid Bendi Southern Bantoid or Wide Bantu includes the far flung Bantu languages spread across sub Saharan Africa in the Bantu expansion from c. 1000 BCE to 500 CE. Tivoid Baboid, a large range of languages of southwestern Cameroon and southeastern Nigeria, Tivoid, Esimbi, East Baboid, West Baboid, Momo, Furu, Buru, Menchum, Echoid Mbe, Momfei, Grassfields, Jarawan Mbam, Narrow, Bantu, divided into Guthrie zones AS, for a total of between 250 and 550 named languages. Central Nigerian, Platoid, Jukanoid, Kanji, Plateau. Other languages unclassified within Banu Congo, Ukon, Fali of Basip, Tita. Other the putative Niger-Congo languages outside of the Atlantic Congo family are centered in the upper Senegal and Niger river basins, south and west of Timbuktu, Monde, Dogon, Liberia, Kru, the Niger Delta, Ijoid, and fair to the east in south-central Sudan, around the Nuba Mountains, the Kordufanian families. They account for a total population of about 100 million 2015, mostly Monde and Ijaw. Monde, languages of the Monde peoples, estimated at roughly 70 million as of 2016. Dogon, languages of the Dogon people of Mali, estimated at 1.6 million as of 2013. May have a noun class system related to the Atlantic Congo languages. Banjim, spoken in Dogon country. Kru of Liberia and Ivory Coast. Siamu, once classified as Kru Ijoid, Ijaw, the language of the Ijaw people, 14 million as of 2011, plus the moribund Defaka language The various Kordufanian languages are spoken in south-central Sudan, around the Nuba Mountains. Kordufanian is a geographic grouping, not a genetic one, named for the Kordofan region. These are minor languages, spoken by a total of about 100,000 people according to 1980s estimates. Taladi languages Hyban languages Lafofa languages Rashad languages Katla languages The endangered or extinct Laal, Mpre and Jalaa languages are often assigned to Niger-Congo. Classification history Early classifications Niger-Congo as it is known today was only gradually recognized as a linguistic unit. In early classifications of the languages of Africa, one of the principal criteria used to distinguish different groupings was the languages. Use of prefixes to classify nouns, or the lack thereof, 
A major advance came with the work of Sigismund Wilhelm Kohl, who in his 1854 Polyglotta Africana attempted a careful classification, the groupings of which in quite a number of cases correspond to modern groupings. An early sketch of the extent of Niger-Congo as one language family can be found in Kohl. S. observation, echoed in Bleak, 1856, that the Atlantic languages used prefixes just like many Southern African languages. Subsequent work of Bleak, and some decades later the comparative work of Meinhof, solidly established Bantu as a linguistic unit. In many cases, wider classifications employed a blend of typological and racial criteria. Thus, Friedrich Muller, in his ambitious classification 1876 to 88, separated the Negro in Bantu languages. Likewise, the Africanist Carl Richard Lepsius considered Bantu to be of African origin, and many mixed Negro languages as products of an encounter between Bantu and intruding Asiatic languages. In this period a relation between Bantu and languages with Bantu-like but less complete, noun class systems began to emerge. Some authors saw the latter as languages which had not yet completely evolved to full Bantu status, whereas others regarded them as languages which had partly lost original features still found in Bantu. The Bantuist Meinhof made a major distinction between Bantu and a semi-Bantu group which according to him was originally of the unrelated Sudanic stock. Westerman, Greenberg and beyond Westerman, a pupil of Meinhof, set out to establish the internal classification of the then Sudanic languages. In a 1911 work he established a basic division between East and West. A historical reconstruction of West Sudanic was published in 1927, and in his 1935, Charakter und Einteilung der Sudansprechen, he conclusively established the relationship between Bantu and West Sudanic. Joseph Greenberg took Westerman's work as a starting point for his own classification. In a series of articles published between 1949 and 1954, he argued that Westerman's West Sudanic and Bantu formed a single genetic family, which he named Niger Congo, that Bantu constituted a subgroup of the Banu Congo branch, that Adamawa Eastern, previously not considered to be related, was another member of this family, and that Fula belonged to the West Atlantic languages. Just before these articles were collected in final book form, The Languages of Africa, in 1963, he amended his classification by adding Kordufanian as a branch coordinate with Niger Congo as a whole. Consequently, he renamed the family Congo Kordufanian, later Niger Kordufanian. Greenberg's work on African languages, though initially greeted with skepticism, became the prevailing view among scholars. Bennett and Sturk, 1977, presented an internal reclassification based on lexico statistics that laid the foundation for the regrouping in Bender Samuel, 1989. Kordufanian was presented as one of several primary branches rather than being coordinate to the family as a whole, prompting reintroduction of the term Niger Congo, which is in current use among linguists. Many classifications continue to place Kordufanian as the most distant branch, but mainly due to negative evidence fewer lexical correspondences, rather than positive evidence that the other languages form a valid genealogical group. Likewise, Monde is often assumed to be the second most distant branch based on its lack of the noun class system prototypical of the Niger-Congo family. Other branches lacking any trace of the noun class system are Dogon and Ija, whereas the Taladi branch of Kordufanian does have cognate noun classes, suggesting that Kordufanian is also not a unitary group. Glottolog 2013 accepts the core with noun class systems, the Atlantic Congo languages, apart from the recent inclusion of some of the Kordufanian groups, but not Niger Congo as a whole. They list the following as separate families. Atlantic Congo, Monde, Dogon, Ijoid, Lafofa, Katlatima, Hyben, Taladi, Rashad, Oxford Handbooks Online, 2016, has indicated that the continuing reassessment of Niger Congo's internal structure is due largely to the preliminary nature of Greenberg's classification, explicitly based as it was on a methodology that doesn't produce proofs for genetic affiliations between languages but rather aims at identifying likely candidates. 
The ongoing descriptive and documentary work on individual languages and their varieties, greatly expanding our knowledge on formerly little known linguistic regions, is helping to identify clusters and units that allow for the application of the historical comparative method. Only the reconstruction of lower level units, instead of big picture contributions based on mass comparison, can help to verify or disprove our present concept of Niger Congo as a genetic grouping consisting of Banu Congo plus Volta Niger, KWA, Adamawa plus Gur, KRU, the so called Kordufanian languages, and probably the language groups traditionally classified as Atlantic. The coherence of Niger Congo as a language phylum is supported by Grawlamond, et al., 2016, using computational phylogenetic methods. The East-West Volta Congo Division, West-East Banu Congo Division, and North-South Bantoid Division are not supported, whereas a Bantoid group consisting of Echoid, Bendi, Dacoid, Jukanoid, Tivoid, Mamboloid, Baboid, Momfei, Tikar, Grassfields, and Bantu is supported. The Automated Similarity Judgment Program ASJP, also groups many Niger-Congo branches together. Reconstruction Proto-Niger Congo, or Proto-Atlantic Congo, has not been reconstructed, and few of the demonstrably coherent branches of it have been either. The major success has been several reconstructions of Proto-Bantu, which has consequently had an outsize influence on conceptions of what Proto-Niger Congo may have been like. The only stage higher than Proto-Bantu that has been reconstructed is a pilot project by Stewart, who since the 1970s has reconstructed the common ancestor of the Patu Tano and Bantu languages, without so far considering the hundreds of other languages which presumably descend from that same ancestor. Niger-Congo and Nilo-Saharan over the years, several linguists have suggested a link between Niger-Congo and Nilo-Saharan, probably starting with Westerman's comparative work on the Sudanic family in which Eastern Sudanic, now classified as Nilo-Saharan, and Western Sudanic, now classified as Niger-Congo, were united. Gregerson 1972, proposed that Niger-Congo and Nilo-Saharan be united into a larger phylum, which he termed Congo-Saharan. His evidence was mainly based on the uncertainty in the classification of Songhe, morphological resemblances, and lexical similarities. A more recent proponent was Roger Blench 1995, who puts forward phonological, morphological and lexical evidence for uniting Niger-Congo and Nilo-Saharan in a Niger-Saharan phylum, with special affinity between Niger-Congo and Central Sudanic. However, 15 years later his views had changed, with Blench 2011 proposing instead that the noun classifier system of Central Sudanic, commonly reflected in a tripartite general singulative plurative number system, triggered the development or elaboration of the noun class system of the Atlantic Congo languages, with tripartite number marking surviving in the Plateau and Gur languages of Niger-Congo, and the lexical similarities being due to loans. Common features Phonology Niger-Congo languages have a clear preference for open syllables of the type 105 consonant vowel. The typical word structure of Proto-Niger-Congo, though it has not been reconstructed, is thought to have been CVCV, a structure still attested in, for example, Bantu, Monde and Ijoid. In many other branches this structure has been reduced through phonological change. Verbs are composed of a root followed by one or more extensional suffixes. Nouns consist of a root originally preceded by a noun class prefix of C B shape which is often eroded by phonological change. Consonants Several branches of Niger-Congo have a regular phonological contrast between two classes of consonants. Pending more clarity as to the precise nature of this contrast, it is commonly characterized as a contrast between fortis and lenis consonants. Vowels Many Niger-Congo languages vowel harmony is based on the ATR advanced tongue root feature. In this type of vowel harmony, the position of the root of the tongue in regards to backness is the phonetic basis for the distinction between two harmonizing sets of vowels. In its fullest form, this type involves two classes, each of five vowels. The roots are then divided into plus ATR and minus ATR categories. 
This feature is lexically assigned to the roots because there is no determiner within a normal root that causes the ATR value. There are two types of ATR vowel harmony controllers in Niger Congo. The first controller is the root. When a root contains a plus ATR or minus ATR vowel, then that value is applied to the rest of the word, which involves crossing morpheme boundaries. For example, suffixes in Wolof assimilate to the ATR value of the root to which they attach. Some examples of these suffixes that alternate depending on the root are Furthermore, the directionality of assimilation in ATR root-controlled vowel harmony need not be specified. The root features plus ATR and minus ATR spread left and or right as needed, so that no vowel would lack a specification and be ill-formed, unlike in the root-controlled harmony system, where the two ATR values behave symmetrically. A large number of Niger-Congo languages exhibit a pattern where the plus ATR value is more active or dominant than the minus ATR value. This results in the second vowel harmony controller being the plus ATR value. If there is even one vowel that is plus ATR in the whole word, then the rest of the vowels harmonize with that feature. However, if there is no vowel that is plus ATR, the vowels appear in their underlying form. This form of vowel harmony control is best exhibited in West African languages. For example, in Naori, the diminutive suffix by will cause the underlying minus ATR vowels in a word to become phonetically plus ATR. There are two types of vowels which affect the harmony process. These are known as neutral or opaque vowels. Neutral vowels do not harmonize to the ATR value of the word, and instead maintain their own ATR value. The vowels that follow them, however, will receive the ATR value of the root. Opaque vowels maintain their own ATR value as well, but they affect the harmony process behind them. All of the vowels following an opaque vowel will harmonize with the ATR value of the opaque vowel instead of the ATR vowel of the root. The vowel inventory listed above is a 10-vowel language. This is a language in which all of the vowels of the language participate in the harmony system, producing five harmonic pairs. Vowel inventories of this type are still found in some branches of Niger-Congo, for example in the Ghana-Togo mountain languages. However, this is the rarer inventory as oftentimes there are one or more vowels that are not part of a harmonic pair. This has resulted in seven and nine vowel systems being the more popular systems. The majority of languages with ATR controlled vowel harmony have either seven or nine vowel phonemes, with the most common non-participatory vowel being a. It has been asserted that this is because vowel quality differences in the mid-central region where the counterpart of a is found are difficult to perceive. Another possible reason for the non-participatory status of a is that there is articulatory difficulty in advancing the tongue root when the tongue body is low in order to produce a low plus ATR vowel. Therefore, the vowel inventory for nine vowel languages is generally and seven vowel languages have one of two inventories. Note that in the nine vowel language, the missing vowel is, in fact, a s counterpart, as would be expected. The fact that ten vowels have been reconstructed for proto ijoid has led to the hypothesis that the original vowel inventory of Niger Congo was a full ten vowel system. On the other hand, Stewart, in recent comparative work, reconstructs a seven vowel system for his proto patu akanic bantu. Nasality Several scholars have documented a contrast between oral and nasal vowels in Niger Congo. In his reconstruction of Proto Volta Congo, Stewart postulates that nasal consonants have originated under the influence of nasal vowels. This hypothesis is supported by the fact that there are several Niger Congo languages that have been analyzed as lacking nasal consonants altogether. Languages like this have nasal vowels accompanied with complementary distribution between oral and nasal consonants before oral and nasal vowels. Subsequent loss of the nasal, oral contrast in vowels may result in nasal consonants becoming part of the phoneme inventory. In all cases reported to date, the bilabial per meter, is the first nasal consonant to be phonologized. Niger-Congo thus invalidates two common assumptions about nasals, that all languages have at least one primary nasal consonant, and that if a language has only one primary nasal consonant it is, n. Niger-Congo languages commonly show fewer nasalized than oral vowels. Kasem, a language with a 10-vowel system employing ATR vowel harmony, has seven nasalized vowels. 
Similarly, Yoruba has seven oral vowels and only five nasal ones. However, the recently discovered language of Zialo has nasal equivalent for each of its seven vowels. Tone The large majority of present-day Niger-Congo languages are tonal. A typical Niger-Congo tone system involves two or three contrastive level tones. Four level systems are less widespread, and five level systems are rare. Only a few Niger-Congo languages are non-tonal, Swahili is perhaps the best known, but within the Atlantic branch some others are found. Proto-Niger-Congo is thought to have been a tone language with two contrastive levels. Synchronic and comparative historical studies of tone systems show that such a basic system can easily develop more tonal contrasts under the influence of depressor consonants or through the introduction of a downstep. Languages which have more tonal levels tend to use tone more for lexical and less for grammatical contrasts. Morphosyntax Noun classification Niger-Congo languages are known for their system of noun classification, traces of which can be found in every branch of the family but Monde, Ijoid, Dogon, and the Katla and Rashad branches of Kordufenian. These noun classification systems are somewhat analogous to grammatical gender in other languages, but there are often a fairly large number of classes, often ten or more, and the classes may be male human, female human, animate, inanimate, or even completely gender unrelated categories such as places, plants, abstracts, and groups of objects. For example, in Bantu, the Swahili language is called Kiswahili, while the Swahili people are Waswahili. Likewise, in Ubangjian, the Zandi language is called Pazind, while the Zandi people are called Azande. In the Bantu languages, where noun classification is particularly elaborate, it typically appears as prefixes, with verbs and adjectives marked according to the class of the noun they refer to. For example, in Swahili, Watu Wazuri Watayanda is good Zuri people too will go Taenda. Verbal extensions The same Atlantic Congo languages which have noun classes also have a set of verb applicatives and other verbal extensions, such as the reciprocal suffix na Swahili penda to love, pendana to love each other, also applicative pendia to love for, and causative pendeza to please. Word order A subject verb object word order is quite widespread among today's Niger Congo languages, but SOV is found in branches as divergent as Monde, Ijoid, and Dogon. As a result, there has been quite some debate as to the basic word order of Niger-Congo. Whereas Claudie, 1993, argues for SVO on the basis of existing SVO greater than SOV grammaticalization paths, Gensler, 1997, points out that the notion of basic word order, is problematic as it excludes structures with, for example, auxiliaries. However, the structure SCOCVBSTEM subject concord, object concord, verb stem found in the verbal complex of the SVO Bantu languages suggests an earlier SOV pattern where the subject and object were at least represented by pronouns. Noun phrases in most Niger-Congo languages are characteristically noun initial with adjectives, numerals, demonstratives and genitives all coming after the noun. The major exceptions are found in the western areas where verb final word order predominates and genitives precede nouns, though other modifiers still come afterwards. Degree words almost always follow adjectives, and except in verb final languages adpositions are prepositional. The verb final languages of the Mend region have two quite unusual word order characteristics. Although verbs follow their direct objects, oblique adpositional phrases like in the house, with timber, typically come after the verb, creating a SOVX word order. Also noteworthy in these languages is the prevalence of internally headed and correlative relative clauses, in both of which the head occurs inside the relative clause rather than the main clause. Notes further reading Vic Webb, 2001, African Voices, An Introduction to the Languages and Linguistics of Africa Bender Samuel, John and Rhonda L. Hartle, eds. 1989, The Niger-Congo Languages, A Classification and Description of Africa's Largest Language Family. Lanham, Maryland, University Press of America. Bennett, Patrick R. and Sturk, Jan P., 1977, South Central Niger-Congo, A Reclassification. Studies in African Linguistics, 8, 241 to 273. Blench, Roger, 1995. Is Niger Congo simply a branch of Nilo-Saharan? 1. In Proceedings, 5th Nilo-Saharan Linguistics Colloquium, Nice, 1992, ed. 
R. Nikolai and F. Rotland, 83-130. Koln, Rudiger Kopp. 2011 Can Sino-Tibetan and Austroasiatic help us understand the evolution of Niger-Congo noun classes? 2 Call 41, Leiden, 2011 Should Kordufanian be split up? 3 Nuba Hills Conference, Leiden Kapo, Honkpati BC, 1981 Nasality in GBE, a synchronic interpretation, studies in African linguistics, 12, 1, 1-43. Kasali, Radhaik F. 1995, on the reduction of vowel systems in Volta Congo, African Languages and Cultures, 8, 2, December, 109-121. Dimendal, Jarrett, 2008. Language Ecology and Linguistic Diversity on the African Continent. Language and Linguistics Compass, 2, 5, 840-858. DOI 10.1111 J 1749818 extension 2008.00085 X Greenberg Joseph H 1963 The Languages of Africa Indiana University Press Gregerson Edgar A 1972 Congo Saharan Journal of African Languages 4 46 to 56 Nurse, D., Rose, S. and Hewson, J. 2016, Tense and Aspect in Niger-Congo, Documents on Social Sciences and Humanities, Royal Museum for Central Africa Olson, Kenneth S. 2006, on Niger-Congo Classification. In the Bill Question, ed. H. Aronson, D. Dyer, B. Friedman, D. Ristova and J. Sadok, 153-190. Bloomington, Indiana, Slavica. Sue, Jayla, 1973, Languages sans consens nasalses, Analyse de l'Université d'Abidjan, H. 6, 1, 179 205. Stewart, John M., 1976, Towards Volta Congo Reconstruction, A Comparative Study of Some Languages of Black Africa, Inaugural Speech, Leiden University, Leiden, Universitaire Pers Leiden. Stewart, John M., 2002, The Potential of proto patu Akanic Bantu as a Pilot Proto-Niger-Congo, and the Reconstructions Updated, in Journal of African Languages and Linguistics, 23, 197-224. Williamson, K., 1989, Niger-Congo Overview, in Bender Samuel and Hartle, eds., The Niger-Congo Languages, 3-45. Williamson, K. and Blench, Roger, 2000, Niger Congo, in Heine, Burnt and Nurse, Derek, eds. African Languages, an Introduction. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, pp. 11 42. External links and evaluation of Niger Congo classification, Kenneth Olson Tense and Aspect in Niger Congo, Derek Nurse, Sarah Rose and John Hewson.